What's up, the John Squad? And happy Wednesday, the John Squad. That is, you know what that day is today, because guess what? Today is Wonderful World of Wrestling Wednesdays. That's right, the John Squad. I'm going to talk about what happened at WWE Crown Jewel today, and I'm also going to talk about what happened at WWE Monday Night Raw. So let's do this. Shout out to the John Squad. We had a lot of things happening at Monday Night Raw. That was crazy. And we also had WWE Crown Jewel this past Saturday. So here we go. So I say we start off with WWE Monday Night Raw. So apparently, Raw kicked off with the Usos and Solo Siko. The Usos say after SmackDown, they will become the longest reigning tag team champions. The New Day then come out and interrupt. Kofi Kingston says that they will not forfeit their record to the Usos after everything they went through. Matt Riddle and then Matt Riddle comes out in traps and hits his bungee and says that they need to chill out. And Jay slaps him slaps his bongs away. That was pretty funny. And Riddle issues a challenge for him for a six man tag team match. So then we had the six man tag team match and the Usos and So Sikoa beat the New Day and Matt Riddle. And then we had Baron Corbin beat Cedric Alexander on Monday Night Raw. Then we had Seth Rollins issue an open chance for the United States Championship title match. The Judgment Day then come out. And Finn Balor says Seth cost him gold in the past, so he will return the favor tonight. The OC interrupted. AJ Styles says someone found the OC and is joining them to face Judgment Day. And it's Mia Yim. Mia Yim makes her return to WWE. Seth Rollins leaves the ring as both teams fight and the OC is standing tall. So Mia Yim is back in WWE. That is just mind-blowing and crazy. Good job, Triple H, for bringing her back. That is just mind-blowing. Mia Yim is back. Otis beat Elias, which apparently that match was okay. It wasn't that popular to me. And then we had Bianca Belair, Asuka, and Alexa Bliss caught damage control. They come at Asuka and Io start arguing in Japanese, and a brawl breaks out. Bianca issues a challenge for war games. Nikki Cross comes out and attacks it. Damage control and join it on the attack. Then Austin's Theory beats Shelton Benjamin. Then we also had The Miz claims that John and Daniel lied about him last week regarding his working relationship with Dexter Loomis, right, everyone? So then Miz says that Johnny's lies had made his father not believe him and that he talked to his loyals publicly so he, so be can t so he can tell his side of the story. Johnny interrupts and reveals he set private investigations to pretend to be a producer and talk privately with the with the Miz. Johnny shows footage of the Miz admitting to the fake producer that he paid Dexter to stalk him. So we have John Gano versus the Miz and the Miz beats John Gano after hitting him with a turnbuckle hook and after the match Dexter Lumis attacks the Miz with a steel chair. So then Nikki Cross beats the Brook to become the new 24-7 chain. But wait, there's more. Because then after when Nikki Cross won, Nikki Cross tosses the 24-7 title into the trash can. So that means no more 24-7 championship title belt at all. Well, that's pretty awesome right there. Thank you, Nikki Cross. Thank you. Leave your comments down below. Are you happy they got rid of the 24-7 championship belt? I'm happy they did. Then we had Seth Rollins issue normal challenge for the United States title. Mustafa Ali was about to accept, but he gets attacked by Bobby Lashley. Lashley announced Seth will face him. So Bobby Lashley beats down Seth Rollins. Austin there cashes in his money to make briefcase on Seth for the United States title. So Lashley beats Austin Theory to retain the United States title after Bobby Lashley met messed up Austin Theory and attacked him. So, that's it's ended in Monero with Seth Rollins standing tall and is still a United States champion. Yep, that's what happened there. So, Seth Rollins still a United States champion. Austin Theory lost his briefcase and cashed in already. So, therefore, so, therefore, um, Austin Theory is still our, um, Austin Theory is not Mr. Money in the Bank anymore. He cashed in on Seth Rollins to become the United States champion. So now we go on to crown jewel everybody that happened this past Saturday. So we have Brock Lesnar defeated Bobby Lashley by pinfall. Then we had Damage Control. Dakota Kai and Ayo Sky defeat Alexa Bliss and Asuka by pinfall to win the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. 
was going to be had. Drew McIntyre defeated Karen Cross with Scarlet by escaping the cage. Right? So we had the Judgment Day. Ben Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio re Ripley defeated the OC, AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson by pinfall in a six man tag team match. Then the next match we had on Crown Jewel was Braun Strowman defeated Almas by pinfall. Then we had the Usos, J.S. and Jimmy used to defeat the Braun Brutes, Ridge Holland, and Butch by pinfall, and they retained their, the Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships. The Usos. Then Bianca Belair defeated Bailey to retain her WWE Raw Women's Championship. Then the main event we had was a singles match for the Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. We had Roman Reigns defeated Logan Paul by pinfall. And. New news alert everybody that uh, Logan Paul tours meniscus in MCL and ACL. So that's what happened to Logan Paul. So he's out for a while. Logan Paul. That's what happened to him. And um, then also on SmackDown this Friday, we're also getting um, the Tag Team Championship match uh, between the New Day and the Usos. Leave your comments down below on who you think is going to win. My prediction is I think the Usos are going to win and beat the longest reign. Right. So then, we also have on SmackDown is the World Cup, the Cup, the Qualifying Cup. The World Cup is coming. This Friday on SmackDown with eight participants. That's something to look forward to watch. So anyway, that's going to do it for my wonderful World of Wrestling Wednesdays. Once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe for more. You're all the best, Jet Squad. You're all one of a kind. Love each and every single one of you. We are all champions and signing out. That is right. So, once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. And subscribe for more. Peace out, the John Squad. I love each and every single one of you. All. Peace. Peace. Stay tuned for next Wednesday.